the independent filmmakers uh, have a very interesting uh, environment today. Um, it's challenging enough to raise money as an independent filmmaker in, in a kind of conventional format to to make a movie, find a distributor, um, and, and, and get distribution for it. Uh, and new media represents an opportunity for them to do something that economically is much more feasible. I would say it's clearly uh, not as um, likely that you can have a commercial success today through new media, meaning that you're going to make any money. But what a, a filmmaker can do is demonstrate their capabilities. They can um, experiment with new media, they can create films at a much, much lower cost base, and while they may not make any money from it, they can then use that to attract for a project that might be more conventional, uh, executive producing talent, producing talent, uh, distribution, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that, in the short term, call it the next few years, is probably the big upside to the to the world of those that don't have access to raise a couple million dollars to do a small independent film, and that alone is is pretty exciting stuff. Um, but there will be there will be some success stories as well, purely going the new media route, and um, it, I think it will involve a degree of creativity related to the new media aspect of it as opposed to it's a it's a story that could do just as well having been a conventional film but they chose to do it in new media. I don't think those uh, those will be as that wouldn't be how I would do it if I were a filmmaker. I'd be focused on building my resume if you will or doing something that's very creative taking advantage of the medium. No, I think I think the new media needs a different format. That that's my point around. If you had a storyline that you wanted to make as a filmmaker and you had the resources to do it in a conventional way, my advice would be do it in a conventional way. Um, if you don't have the resources or you simply want to be more creative, then the new media gives you the forum to be successful either by way of proving your expertise or by way of being incredibly creative. And you can do that also with sponsorship. I mean, sponsorship may be a broadcaster who likes the theme, but sponsorship may also be uh, a corporation or a foundation that believes in the theme, uh, or it could be very commercial. It could be a really you know, creative story, but sure enough, Coca-Cola or Pepsi are going to be uniquely prominently displayed. Not the guy has a Coke can in the image, but in the middle of the movie, you know, the Coke can pops out of the screen and five different things happen and results in interaction. Um, so I think that the degree to which people can be very creative with new media is going to result in uh, a whole new wave of how filmmakers or documentary makers or television makers, um, you know, display their creativity. I mean, that that's the thing that we haven't even thought about yet. But we'll look back, or we'll we'll see five years from now, ten years from now, and we'll go, wow! There's just a whole new way to express your creativity as a result of new media. Uh, it's it's I would say it's it's neither actually. It's actually the ability to creatively. Uh, think through how to use or exploit the technology that matches or accentuates or complements or accents, maybe I'll find a few more uh, synonyms, um, the content. That's the key. So that's my point. If you've got a great storyline uh, but you haven't thought through how to enhance it through new media, that's okay, and yes, you may reach a broader audience or people may watch it on more devices than they otherwise were going to, but the real magic is to do something fun with it. Different endings to a movie, different scenes halfway through, replace the boy with a girl, put your own storyline in it, search for key words, guess which scenes have different aspects of it that are different from a continuity perspective. I mean, I'm just making this up. I'm starting to think I should do my own uh, new media film when I say it. But that kind of fun stuff. Today, especially the younger, the younger people are, are growing up faster. They're wanting to consume this stuff uh, speedier. 
you know they understand all the features you can do with your your cell phone and your Blackberry and your iPhone that you know more uh, traditional people uh, that are, are used to the basic functions haven't thought of I absolutely people think people think that people want to you know press the edges of, of what's capable now when I say that I am talking about kind of the the younger group and kind of the leading edge of uh, the leading edge of being creative in society uh, there's still a huge part of the population that aren't interested won't change their life and just not important to them and that would still be the majority but I still think there's a big enough subset that uh, if you strike the right chord you can build a pretty big audience well I would argue that the technology people that are active in new media they're pretty creative I mean these are the people thinking up applications for the iPhone for example I don't know how many applications they have now but it's in the hundreds of thousands or whatever it may be and the the players like Blackberry and, and Apple that, that create these application environments are brilliant and they let other people use their creativity which is part technology part content part just thinking about new ways to consume things or the way people would like to consume things and think of the proliferation of that and they have a chance to make money from it they have a chance to be proud of what they've accomplished so I, I, I think in the new media world there becomes a blur between the content owners and creators and the technology people and actually technology is getting simpler much simpler I would argue from a kind of a conventional filmmaker slash broadcaster slash producer because things are so much easier to do and that means you don't need to be overly technical to be creative but take advantage of the technological advancements how does a new media person find their target audience um, you know there are um, there there are hundreds if not thousands of applications that exist today that could help uh, people's lives either because they would simply enjoy it out of entertainment or it would make them more productive or it would help organize their lives etc 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 but they don't know they exist and um, that's a bit back to the question of are people ready and day by day more and more people go into a Google or an ask.com or whatever it may be and they ask the question that they never would have thought they would have asked to the internet this big void voidness of where does it come from encyclopedia and back comes some information that that leads them helps them guides them and so you know it's a bit about you know being creative if I've got a story that appeals to a certain subset of society then I need to have the right tag words I need to be searchable I need to contact the constituents that would care about that and see if they'll you, you know have me as a link and I cut a business deal with them will they do it just because they care you know that's back to being creative and uh, and then you hope for virality obviously I mean the, the the lucky ones have something that's very viral at least in the community that they're very focused on and the internet that's the beauty of it you don't need to put up big billboards you don't need to buy big advertising if you've got the goods and you just allow people to get at you you can have a big success story